Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Ethereum and the Ethereum Tsunami. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the bull market sale on the premium list, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So this is one of those shorter time frame charts for the valuation of Ethereum against the US dollar. And quite clearly, we are generally trending up here. Okay, we're, we're sort of coming back down, uh, but every time we come back down, it, it's a little bit higher each time. And we're sort of converging up to this point where we know we've been coming up to around 35, 36K uh, for, a number, for a number of days now, going back to about May 4th, so about three days or so. And so if this pattern continues to play out and then we get that breakout, in the next couple of days, well, then the implication is, all right, well, which way are we breaking out? Obviously, you know, these things generally break out to the upside. These are not things that I necessarily day trade because I, I don't think that it's worthwhile to do that. I'm more of a macro um, perspective type person where I look at the whole cycle. I don't really care about these little bunny hills in between, but it's interesting because everyone, everyone can obviously tell that $3,600 seems to be that place where we're having a hard time moving above it. And we know that Ethereum has enough juice to get us above it if Bitcoin just simply holds the line. Again, if you're new here, the Ethereum tsunami is essentially this phase of the cycle where Ethereum goes on this crazy run and it leaves most altcoins behind. It's the phase where you, you, know, you, you see a subtle shift from people just FOMOing into all these altcoins and then going taking profits back to Ethereum. So we're clearly in that phase right now. And if you look at the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation, you can see just how much Ethereum has gained on Bitcoin over the last several weeks. In fact, currently we're up about 103% over 123456. This is our sixth week. So about 103% over approximately six weeks. Now we're coming to the end of the week. And I think this is going to be an important weekly close, okay? If we can close all the way up here, I think that's going to be relatively bullish for Ethereum. And I think we're more likely to, to see a continuation of this move rather than a pullback down. However, if over the next couple of days, the Ethereum valuation against Bitcoin comes back down and we look at this no, you know, as nothing more than a wick in the middle of the week, then obviously the narrative can change very quickly. So I would say let's keep a close eye on the valuation of Ethereum against Bitcoin over the next couple of days. Not that I need to tell you guys that I'm sure most of you are watching it every five minutes of every single day, but this is where we want to close. We'd like to close somewhere up here. And I think that would be relatively bullish for Ethereum. Okay. Now, if you look at Ether USD on a more macro chart, these are, these are daily timeframes. Okay. These are daily timeframes. And we can look at this entire run going all the way back to March of 2020. Okay. And over that time period, if we just say go to the bottom of the candle, not the wick, Ethereum is still up around 3,100 to 3,200% over the last 421 days. Okay, so Ethereum has been putting in crazy returns for, for quite a long period of time. And it still seems like as long as Bitcoin is, is still doing this nonsense, where you know it had a bounce off the 100 day, we said we expect a decent probability that we're gonna get a bounce off the 100 day. As long as we got that bounce and, and Bitcoin remains below its prior all time high, which we have done, this is the, the recipe that Ethereum needed, and we know that this is, this is exactly what happened. I mean, Ethereum has skyrocketed. You can see this bounce happened, and, and ever since then, Ethereum has just been crazy bullish, and it was already bullish before then. After this point, Ethereum started pushing higher really, really quickly. I mean, if you go back and look at where Ethereum was just a week ago, okay? I mean, I know times can change relatively quickly, but if you go back, say, like a week ago, or so, let's go back to, to the very end of April, the valuation of Ethereum was at 2,700. And if you go back another week or so, we were, I mean, we were hitting prices around 2K, and this was only a couple weeks ago. So you can see how powerful the Ethereum tsunami is once it starts going. It just sweeps up a lot of profits that people have been taking on other altcoins, and they think like, okay, do I go to Bitcoin, do I go to Ethereum? 
and a lot of those people decide to take those profits to Ethereum. So I'm looking for some type of resolution within a couple days. It's interesting to note that within a couple days, we'll be getting to the end of the week, okay? So that's coming up. We'll, we'll, we'll know at that point whether we're gonna have a close up here or if it's coming back down. So I think this is going to be relatively important for Ethereum in the next two to three days to see if we're going to break out and continue this move that Ethereum has had, the Ethereum tsunami, and maybe push up to hopefully $4,000. Or if Bitcoin decides to say, you know what, enough is enough, we're going back down, or we're gonna go back into price discovery mode and steal all bullishness back from Ethereum. I tend to believe that Ethereum has has a ways to go in the entire screen, scheme of the market cycle. Obviously, we cannot predict short-term moves, but it does certainly seem like there's a, a higher probability that we are able to push back past $3,600 hopefully sometime hopefully sometime this month. So we're gonna to continue to keep a very close eye on Ethereum. The, the continuation of the Ethereum tsunami is what all of us, most of us I'm sure would like to see, to see that $4,000 milestone go down. And we know that based on, on looking at a lot of our, our, our charts, that in terms of say the extension from the 20 week, we still have a ways that we could move here, okay? And, and not even break any of our uh, longer term models. Okay, we still have a ways that we can move. And so I am relatively bullish on Ethereum. I will remain that way. I don't I don't intend on changing that. And even, you know, even if we even if we push higher, let's suppose we we you know, we live in a world where it goes up to say somewhere up here and then we come back down, I'm still going to be relatively bullish on Ethereum because I think that we still have a long ways to go in the grand scheme of the market cycle. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Remember to check out the bull market sale on the premium list. You can lock in the lower rate. Make sure you guys check that out in the description below. You'll get access to weekly reports and videos, the Telegram alerts channel, the risk dashboard, and more. Make sure you guys check that out. Lock in the lower rate. You'll understand how I'm navigating these markets. Thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe at the very least, and I'll see you next time. Bye.